Can y'all introduce yourselves and what y'all do? Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm Dan Boy. It's, it's weird. It is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's super weird. It's hard. <laughs> Start over. Just look directly into the camera. Yeah. Hi. I'm uh, Kyle. <laughs> Welcome. Pleased to meet you. Hey friends, it's Mulcher with Rumble Lab. You probably are aware, but we're big fans of 3D printing. In fact, our 3D printer is working on something right now. And we're going to give that something away at the end of this video. Now while we would love for all of you to have a 3D printer, we realize that that's not an option for everyone. So we want to go on a little adventure and show you all the different ways that you can 3D print something right in your hometown without a 3D printer. Check it out. The first thing that we did was we hopped on social media to see if anyone knew of a way that we could 3D print something. It turns out we're surrounded by 3D printers and we didn't even realize it. So we're going to go on a little adventure. See what I did there? Adventure to find different ways we can 3D print something without a 3D printer. Let's see if they can help us out. Ooh, maker bots. Yeah. These are fancy. They are. Time out. I want to brag on Isaac for a minute. This kid is unbelievable. And then we walk into Adventure we see these fancy maker bots and I'm like, oh goodness, I've never used one of these before. I don't know what to do. And he was like, oh, this is easy. I helped our school set up our maker bot. It turns out he has his own 3D printer at home and 3D prints for fun. And not only just downloading files and printing them, he actually makes the models himself. And he's only 10 years old. I was like mind blown. Sorry, back to adventure. The super cool part about Adventure is we were able to come in, get our print printing, and then explore the museum. They even took us into this top secret exhibit to get a first look before anybody else could. And it was super cool. I'm really excited for it to open up. And spoiler alert, the exhibit is <laughs> so I'm here with my friend Isaac and we're about to go inside of this guy named Eddie. Which way you want to go? That way? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's yep. go this way. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I've always wanted to go inside of Eddie. Not gonna lie. You were so fast. Don't... Uh. You get scared though? Yeah. <sighs> Don't make me feel like I'm just gonna fall through. I probably would. I'm gonna hold on. What is this? Where are we right now? The brain. No. This is not the brain. <laughs> now where? Oh, right. Ugh. You got a break of you just pay Okay. It's fine. All right. It's in there. Oh, it isn't really anything. Look, Dead end. Is that a pole? Yeah, yeah no. but it's just holding up like a gut. Are we to where we need to be? We made it. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately our print failed, but that's part of it. Sometimes it doesn't go like we want it to, but we'll learn from those mistakes and try again. And the cool thing was is that Adventure has a 3D printer that we were able to use to print what it was we were trying to print. So that was awesome. You. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> so now we have one 3D printer, two if you count Isaacs, and then the next two we found at our local makerspace. And to find our local makerspace, we just searched in Google for makerspace near me. And I strongly suggest you check out your local makerspace because not only will they have super cool tools like 3D printers, laser cutters, stuff like that, there are gonna be awesome people in there that can help you if you get stuck. We even have friends with 3D printers that we're willing to help. I bet you do too. For our 
our last stop, we're going to meet the pros at this place called Zverse. Hey, hey Moultrie, awesome to meet you, man. Yeah. You can come on back. Cool. So not only was Zverse able to help out with 3D printing, they took us on a tour of their space so we could see some of their awesome 3D printers. And then, three of the Zverse guys, Dan Ward, Blake Rice, and Kyle Cooper, sat down with us to answer some of the questions that you had about 3D printing. First thing we wanted them to answer is, what does Zverse even do? So, Zverse is a platform for design on demand. And a lot of what we do is like keeping you from being limited, you know, in what you can do. Basically, they help people take an idea and turn it into a reality. The story of how Zverse got started is super cool. Basically, it all started with a little girl and an egg. We were working with uh, schools and art camps and things like that to turn kids' drawings into 3D objects. What? So, yeah, Dude, so, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> so the, the company was called Doodle Sculpt. You can probably get a shot of the old sign in the hallway out there. John, our CEO, the daughter had drawn this egg and crayon on paper, and he set about uh, asking a 3D service bureau to print, you know, this 2D drawing. It's and so it's, cool. Yeah. Um, one of the kids was asking, what's the coolest thing you've ever seen 3D printed that you can talk about? I was gonna say the shoe was probably yeah. one of my a 3D my printed favorite. shoe, like a six foot, seven foot, eight, feet, eight, eight feet, foot tall, tall shoe. Tall. So while the shoe they were talking about was for display only, because it was eight feet, and I don't know anybody with feet that big, maybe it was a shoe for an elephant. I don't know. I did some research, and it turns out Adidas is supposedly going to start making a 3D printed shoe. So it's cool how 3D printing is making its way into other applications. Is there anything that you've been like, I would really love to try and 3D print that? I've always wanted a 3D print a 3D printer. Uh, I Ooh, think that would be, uh, that's super meta. <laughs> that cool. 20 years from now, it's going to be like, yeah, obviously you 3D print your 3D printer. How else would you? <laughs> would you touch on printability, like? I printed something the other day and I just was not thinking and there was an overhang mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I was like, well duh, that was never going to work. Right. Um, Did you see that? I thought it was hilarious how the second I said overhang, I got a yeah from the guys. Like this problem happens all the time. Duh, that was never going to work. Right. Um, would y'all talk about some of that? I mean, I, I think, I, I, you know, that is, that's where the design comes into play. That, that's probably the single biggest hurdle within uh, 3D printing today. Anybody can go hire a designer. You can go to almost any website and find a designer, but to find a designer who is thinking about the actual engineering and manufacturing of a part, you know, Period, whether it's 3D printing or not. Mm -hmm. Right. Correct. You gotta think architecture, building a house. You have to build the walls before you build the roof, but before you build the walls, you have to build the foundation. So when you're designing a 3D model, you have to have that in mind too. You know, when you look at, you know, this right here, if you were to print this without supports in there, and you don't design that in ahead of time, it'd fall apart. Just because you have a 3D file does not necessarily mean you have a printable 3D mm -hmm. file. What would you say to a kid who's interested in getting into 3D printing? If, if you can think of something, you can produce it. I would say don't give up. That there's going to be... Love that. <laughs> there's going to be times where you're going to... You know, try to create a 3D file and it's not going to print. There's going to be times when your printer fails. There's going to be times when it might be rough, but you know, to Dan's point is if you can think it, you can print it. And there's going to be challenging times, but don't give up because you know, being able to 3D print something and being able to pull a deliverable or something, a product that you design out of a 3D printer, that you thought of this, you printed it, and there, there's nothing else like it. And now you're holding it in your now hands. Now you're holding it in your hand. That's awesome. I, I mean, similarly, I would say failures are good. Yeah. I totally agree with these guys. Like, I keep a box of my most recently failed part. It's gonna be, you know, you making mistakes and overhangs, <laughs> and, you know, so. But, but let me ask you, will you, are you gonna design a file with an overhang like that again? No. You learn from it, right? <laughs> No, yeah, totally. So every time you fail, every time something breaks, every, every mistake, it goes back to your knowledge bank. Totally. Right? Love that, man. That's so, like mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> An anecdote with the egg was when John gave that egg to his daughter, she set it on a table and it wobbled over. And then she picked it back up and looked at it for a second and then looked at him with this, you know, bright eyed look and said, I know, I'll draw a stand and you print the stand. What? So, this idea of like six years old, you know, grasping that like if I can think of it, it can be manufactured in 3D, you know, and, and that's that's sort of the... I that's, think that's super the, sweet. The magic of that whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. High five. <laughs> 
So yeah, a lot of times when you're making something, you might not have everything you need, and you might need to ask for help. So don't be afraid to ask for help, whether it's for a 3D printer or advice on figuring something out. Like this video, we had to ask for a lot of help. So a special thanks to Isaac, Adventure, Zverse, My Tech Lab, Eric, Martin, and Mike for helping make this video possible. We totally couldn't have done it without you. And if you want to make with us in one of our videos, have your parents fill out the Make With Us form and we'll put a link to that in the description below. Oh yeah, and if you're still wondering what it was we had printing in the very beginning, it was a lightsaber pencil. And so we're going to show you how to make this handle in an upcoming video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell next to it so that you won't miss the video whenever it comes out because we're going to be awarding some cool prizes to the people who come up with our favorite designs. And in the beginning we said we'd be giving this lightsaber pencil away. So if you want it, send us an email at rumble at rumblelab.com. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend and go make something. <laughs>